Hello and welcome to number two in the series of videos where I will tell you the top three wine facts that I've found out over the last couple of weeks. So here we go. Fact number one, the wine sugar content. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but 125 milliliters of red wine. So we're not even talking about the sweeter wines. The red wine contains approximately a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. So not only do you have to worry about sort of the alcohol content in the wine, but also it's the sugar content as well. And alcohol is the second only to pure fat itself when it comes to the fat content. So you're also adding sugar on top of that. So it's a no-no for drinking lots of alcohol, especially if you're on a diet or you're wanting to lose weight. The second fact, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but there is a fear of wines called onophobia, oenophobia, I'm not quite sure how you say it, but I can't believe this exists. There is actually a phobia where it's a fear of wines. I mean, who doesn't like wine? I mean, honestly, ah, oh. I mean, how can you fear it? Is it the the taste, or is it sort of the look, or I don't know. I maybe it's it is the taste. I don't know. It's just maybe they've been scammed before because there are people who put fake wines in there, and maybe they've sort of had a, a negative reaction to the wine. I just ah. Oh. I like wine a lot and this is something which I just can't believe. It blows my mind to know that there are people who fear wine. And the third and final one is screw caps. Now I've found incredible storyline on, you know, why and how screw caps were invented. I just want to share this with you because I think it's actually pretty amazing. Okay, right. In 1889, in August, it was invented by a GAN, by a guy called Dan Reynolds. However, it was meant for whiskey and not for wines. And then moving onwards about sort of 70 years, the first wine screw cap was actually invented and patented by a French company called La Bouchaga Mechanique, and they called it the Stelcap Vin. And then moving on 20 years to 1979, it was first commercially used in Australia in 1976. And basically what happened here is that an Australian company bought the rights to use and commercially the design from the French company La Bouchaga Mechanique and they bought those rights and they bought the patent and they renamed it and they called it the Stelvin which some of you may have heard of before and then from 1979 up to the present day it had has its peaks and troughs in terms of usage so initially people really liked the idea of screw caps and they really jumped on the bandwagon and then so sort of five or ten years later it really declined people hated it people wanted a more traditional cork technique like myself and it really plummeted and it was about to be sort of one of those rare things that just sort of fades out and doesn't really exist anymore until recently about 20 years ago 10 20 years ago it sort of started to gain momentum again and now it has been a real success and I'm just going to quote you a fact here which I think is unbelievable where in New Zealand as much as 90% of all their wines, all their wines have a screw cap. Can't believe that, up to 90% and here in the UK where I'm based there are screw caps everywhere, particularly in the sort of cheaper wine section so this is the history of the screw cap and i thought it was quite interesting the fact that 
someone else invented it, but it wasn't for wines. And then a, a French company sort of maybe saw the idea for whiskey and adapted it and patented it for wines. And then someone else actually bought the rights off the French company and then to use it themselves commercially. And it's a real sort of global affair, UK, France and Australia, uh, and now being used in New Zealand a lot. And a real in interesting insight into the world of patents just for this one patent. I hope you've enjoyed that sort of quick, to t quick sort of three facts. And please do subscribe to my channel. This video will be sort of every two weeks. I'll try and do it. Um, but if I have the time, I prefer to do tasting videos. Most of my videos will be sort of on wine and wine tasting itself. But I will have these videos as well, the top three. So please do subscribe. Please do share it. And please do um, embed it in your blogs and your YouTube channel or your pages or wherever you can, your social media if you want. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.